Ford has once again revealed that their company is a forerunner in innovation by announcing the possible use of nuclear diamond batteries in electric vehicles. The announcement made by Ford's CEO Jim Farley shows the company's dedication to renewable energy sources, as well as its vision for a time as when automobiles will serve as more than just a mode of transportation. As Ford presents the innovative nuclear diamond battery, we may be going to witness the automotive revolution. This in-depth examination examines how Ford, under the direction of CEO Jim Farley, is forging a risky new course in innovative design and sustainable energy. Does this finally put an end to range anxiety among owners of electric vehicles? Take a deep breath and discover. This innovation is seen as a potential solution to range anxiety for EV owners. The NDB could put Ford ahead of its competitors in the electric car market. Both Tesla, known for its innovative innovations with the Roadster and the Model S, and General Motors, with its goals for the Chevrolet Bolt, have made significant contributions to the electric vehicle industry. But after Ford's latest statement, we ventured into unknown territory. This might be the game-changing element that elevates Ford above its rivals and transforms the EV scene. From the busy streets of Tokyo, where Toyota's Mirai has championed the hydrogen fuel cell cores, to Volkswagen's massive campuses in Germany and its remarkable ID series, global automotive giants are engaged in a fierce struggle for electric supremacy. Ford's announcement of the NDB defies accepted wisdom, and it begs the question of how competitors in the market like Nissan, BMW, Rivian, and Lucid will react. Just imagine an EV that doesn't bother you about charging and mileage. This is what's offered by the nuclear diamond batteries. These batteries can offer insane capacity and range. As part of its decommissioning program, workers started to remove radioactive waste products from the Berkeley Power Station in Gloucestershire, United Kingdom. A group of physicists and chemists from the University of Bristol aimed to recycle material from the irradiated graphite to create extremely long-lasting power sources in an effort to cut down on the time and expense of this process. It is only now safe to begin removing radioactive waste from the Berkeley Power Station, which was shut down in 1989. Presently kept 8 meters below the surface in concrete vaults, these need specific equipment to be safely retrieved and processed. Researchers at the University of Bristol have developed an artificial diamond that can produce a little electrical current when it is exposed to a radioactive field. With a half-life of 5,730 years, carbon-14 can be used in the batteries, theoretically allowing for virtually endless power supply. Previously, the group used Nickel-63 as the radiation source to demonstrate a prototype diamond battery. Carbon-14, a radioactive form of carbon produced in graphite blocks used to control the reaction in nuclear power reactors, is currently being used in efforts to greatly increase efficiency. The radioactive carbon-14 is concentrated at the surface of these blocks, according to research by Bristol scientists, which makes it easy to treat and remove most of the radioactive material. After being removed, the carbon-14 is combined with a diamond to create a nuclear battery. Carbon-14 was chosen as a source material because it emits a short-range radiation that is quickly absorbed by any solid material, said Dr. Neil Fox of the School of Chemistry. This means that it would be harmful to consume or come into contact with bare skin, but as it is securely contained within the diamond, no short-range radiation can escape. Diamond is the hardest material that humans have ever discovered. Nothing could provide greater protection than this. The longevity of these diamond batteries could transform the long-term powering of gadgets, even if they are less powerful than current battery technology. Although the precise amount of carbon-14 in each cell is still unknown, one battery with one gram of carbon-14 would provide 15 joules every day, less than a AA battery. The typical alkaline AA battery weighs around 20 grams and has an energy storage rating of 70 joules per gram. These batteries are meant for short-term discharge. This would run out in a day if used consistently. It would take 5,730 years for the battery to attain 50% capacity using carbon-14, or roughly how long human civilization has existed. The ultimate goal is to establish a plant that extracts carbon-14 isotopes straight from the graphite blocks for use in diamond batteries, situated in one of the decommissioned power stations in the southwest. By doing this, the radioactivity of the remaining material would be greatly decreased, making management simpler and safer. And that's it. When do you think Ford could finally roll out its nuclear diamond battery-powered vehicles on the road? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and for more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.